What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new to my channel then welcome. I'm Sabrina or Marie J here on YouTube and today I'm doing a foundation review for you guys but before I get into it I did get a new camera so I am barely figuring out how to use it. I honestly haven't even played with it that much. So if at any point in the video it's out of focus I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to figure out how to use it and I don't have a monitor yet so I can't see myself except for on the little viewfinder. I just hope at least the lighting comes out okay in this video. But yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. So the one that I'm reviewing today is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And I've heard so many things about this foundation and I couldn't wait to try it out for myself. I did get sent this foundation along with a few other products, but they do not know that I'm reviewing this. They didn't ask me to review it. This is not a sponsored video. I just received the product and I wanted to give it a try. As I showed you guys, this is what the box looks like. So it's really sleek black packaging. It just says Giorgio Armani and right here it says Luminous Silk Foundation and I'm gonna try mine in the shade number six. In this bottle you get a fluid ounce of foundation and on the packaging it doesn't really say much about the foundation. All it says is the ingredients that it has. So I'm just going to go on their website and read the claims from there. So the first thing I see is the color range and the color selection that they have. So it says that they have 24 different shades and they have two different sizes. They have a standard size like this and then they have a travel size. It retails for $64 on their website so it is definitely a high-end foundation and in the description it says reveal your inner light this luminous foundation glides on weightlessly for flawless lit from within glow using exclusive microfill technology to sculpt and brighten this buildable medium coverage foundation improves texture and blurs imperfections comes in 24 shades to match every unique skin tone and overall on their website they have 4.7 stars and that's all it says about the foundation so I'm going to go ahead and just apply the foundation like I normally do. I'm doing half with a beauty blender and the other half with a foundation brush. And this brush is the Morphe M439. So I'm going to do half and half and we're going to see how it covers and we're going to see whether or not I feel like it meets some of the claims that it makes. I did prime my face because I'm going to be using this foundation all day. Today's Thanksgiving so I'm going to be using it all day and putting it to the test big time because I'm going to be eating and all that stuff. So I primed my face with my Benefit Pore Professional Primer. I didn't want to use a primer that was mattifying and I didn't want to use a primer that was hydrating because I didn't want to alter the finish of the foundation. I just wanted to fill in my pores. So with that being said, I'm first going to apply half with the Morphe M439 brush. By the way, this is what the bottle looks like and it does in fact come with a pump, which is nice. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to do one pump because I don't know how much coverage it has and I don't know if I want to apply a lot. I like the smell. It smells almost like a moisturizer. Yeah, the coverage is nice. You can see here I have all my scars and then here I actually covered really nicely. It doesn't feel heavy at all so far. I like the finish. It's not too luminous or too dewy. Okay, so this is what it's looking like with half of it on my face with the Morphe M439. The coverage I like. It is a medium coverage so far from what I see. I feel like the color is pretty close. It's not too bad. I thought it was going to be too light. But once I bronze and I powder and everything, I think I'll be fine. I must say, I am liking it so far. The finish, I honestly thought this was going to be like a super dewy foundation, but I like the finish. It has more of like a natural-ish kind of finish. So I'm going to do the other side of my face with my Beauty Blender. Mmm, I think I like this one a lot more with a Beauty Blender. I was going to say a Beauty Blender. <laughs> I think I'm going to like this one a lot more with a sponge. It does thin it out a tiny bit, but for some reason I'm liking the finish a lot more with the sponge. It gives me a little bit more of that glow. Since it claims to be buildable, I am going to try building it up once I finish this side to see if it gives me more of a full coverage. Yeah, thin it out just the slightest bit, but I'm going to go ahead and let this set. I'm going to let it dry. 
and then we're going to see if it's it's buildable and if it still has a nice finish to it all right so i did build up the coverage on both sides and it did build up the coverage a little bit uh, i still would say it's about a medium coverage medium full like it's right in the middle but it did the job it it claimed to have a medium coverage and it does have a medium coverage even after building it up i do not feel it on my skin and it still has that natural finish to it it's creasing a little bit on my eyes because i put a lot i usually don't put too much product on my eyelids because i have little fine lines and it kind of creases there but yeah the foundation so far looks really nice especially in person it looks really nice it's also not enhancing the little peach fuzz that i have on my face so i'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup and i'll be back to tell you guys whether or not I agree with the claims so far, and then we'll do the flash photo and check in and all that stuff. Okay, so this is how the foundation looks with other products on top. So far, I'm really liking it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys whether or not I think that the claims are still accurate now that I finished applying all the products. It is a luminous foundation and it does glide on really easily on the skin. As you guys were able to see with the brush, it glided on really, really nice. It's not too thick. It's actually not thick at all. I feel like it's very lightweight. I feel like it does kind of brighten up your face and it gives you kind of like a little bit of life like you have makeup on your skin looks nice it doesn't look overdone it looks very flattering it is a buildable to medium coverage and you can build it up probably even to about a full coverage depending on like if you have acne like i do so on and so forth but i feel like you would be able to build it up to maybe even a full coverage and as far as the improving texture I'm not sure about that part. I do have a lot of texture, so I wouldn't necessarily say that it improved my texture, but it did blur out my pores and it just makes the skin look like it's flawless, but it didn't improve my texture. I don't know if that makes any sense. So far, I like the way it looks. It was very easy to apply other products on top. I will say that when I was touching it, because I was blending in my concealer, when I was touching it and it was still not completely set, it was kind of moving around a little bit but once it's set and i finished applying everything else it kind of like locked in and i didn't powder anywhere on my face except for directly underneath the eyes when i do foundation reviews i don't powder my face because i feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of seeing how the foundation works but i do powder underneath my eyes because i put concealer and i don't want it to crease but everywhere else it's just bronzer here highlight lip color lashes that's it no other powder so we are going to wear this foundation all day long today is thanksgiving so i'm gonna be eating and doing all kinds of stuff and so i'm gonna be able to see whether or not the foundation kind of holds up throughout all of that right now it is 1 51 p.m so i will check back in at the end of the night to see how it's holding up to see if it's gotten my skin oily if it started to wear off this doesn't claim to have a specific wear time but we're gonna see how it looks after quite a few hours so i will check back in with you guys in a few hours okay you guys so right now it is it's already late it's 12 54 p.m so i've been wearing the foundation already for a long time and it has held up as you guys can see here it's only gotten oily around my forehead a little bit on my cheeks as well i was also eating a lot and it wasn't cracking or separating around this area at all you can see here that it kind of started to fade a little bit like where my my scars and where my acne is but other than that the foundation looks good my lip color also didn't come off all day so i was like because i ate a lot but yeah makeup still looks good foundation stayed on all day and so far i really like it i still do think it is a lightweight foundation that has a medium coverage and it is a little bit luminous but it's, i wouldn't say it's a dewy foundation it just gives you like 
like it says, like a nice lit from within glow. It's not matte and it's not overly dewy. I feel like if you've been wanting to get a high-end foundation that you can use for more like natural-ish looks or for natural days or even for something for photos or for, I don't know, you can use this foundation for a lot of different things. But if you've been wanting to invest in a high-end foundation and you have combination skin, even oily skin, maybe even dry skin. I feel like this is a foundation that might work for pretty much any skin type depending on how you prime. But yeah, if you're looking for a good high-end foundation, I would definitely give this one a try. Literally stayed on all day, no touch-ups. First impression, I really like this foundation and I like the way it looks on my face. I like the way it sits on my face. Honestly, when I first heard about this foundation, when I saw people using it, I thought it was going to be very luminous and I thought it was going to leave me oily and greasy in the t-zone no it's the perfect balance so yeah I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this review slash first impression uh so far for me like I said I really like this foundation if I missed anything please leave it down below in the comment section any questions that you have or anything that I might have left out. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel already, especially if you like foundation reviews. I do put up foundation reviews here and there. So make sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you and I will see you on my next video.